That's a baby pepper. Five little peppers. Did you end up looking at that? I didn't. I didn't look it up. Have you heard of the five little peppers? All right, we're going outside. <clears throat> That's Papa Pepper. I'm going to go down there so they can see. Hey, steam it. So I'm out uh, at a friend's house. D Wells, link below. And uh, look what he's doing with the children. He's teaching them how to make balloons. That's right. Balloon animals. Do it. Did you see the mouse? Where's the mouse? Look at the mouse, right there. <laughs> just made that mouse for the homeschool kids. It looks like it's um, a fishing pole. No, uh -huh. oh, you just gotta the pretend there's cheese. It's a mouse. Oh, I forgot that part. So he's yeah, been squeaking like crazy. He's been doing uh, videos. How many videos now do you have of making animal I balloons? Just recorded number four. Four. Number four. So if you go to his page, you can watch him do videos showing you how to do different animal balloons. It's pretty cool stuff. My my son has been watching them at home, you know, nonstop, trying to learn how to do that. And so if you got kids, you need to go to his page. I'll put a link in the description below to go to his page and watch the videos on how to make animal balloons. I know Eli. Look at this you one. Trying to get it? Can you maybe help me and stretch it out? <laughs> a worm. Dad, can you just make me a straight one? Sure. I'm gonna need you to probably stretch that part. Oh, it's So is, is the snake in the back of the truck? Can I, go look, can I go look at it? In the truck? Sure. I usually right. travel with a couple animals. He travels with animals, so we're going to go look at this. And I think it's a pregnant northern water snake female. How do you know she's pregnant? It's pregnant. Well, you can say she if it's pregnant. Yeah, how do you know it's pregnant? Or she's pregnant? <laughs> I said I think. You think? I think. Hey, it's Dwells! Hey! Uh, oh, it's a turtle. Yes. Turtles? That's what got me killed in the Steampocalypse. No. Not this that is one. what got you yeah. killed in the Steampocalypse. <laughs> yeah, see, if I would have shot that with a with a pistol, that there would have been nothing left to it. I guess I should have said small. The uh, pictures were deceiving. Anyone? Yeah, no thank you. <laughs> How is that not a copperhead? What do you mean not a copperhead? What color is the head? Oh, okay, yeah. You mean water moccasin? Yeah, it's got a flat head. It's a triangle head. <laughs> it's reshaped its body to deceive you. Oh yeah, because the uh, the um, is that my blood, your blood, or her blood? No, you, it bit one of your girls earlier. Um, whoa! Dang, don't scare it. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I can tell by the eye. The eye is round because if it was a if it was a diamond or a, a like a diamond eye then you that's how it tell if it's poisonous right a pit viper or something or if a pit viper yeah i mean you could have a coral snake that's going to have a round pupil and it's also venomous that was dry. so yeah but pit vipers have the cat like eyes they got the heat pits on the front and then on the belly where they've got the single scales across the belly yeah after the vent which is where they poop pee reproduce that type of stuff um on a pit viper they stay single here you can see they go to double Oh, okay. So I've actually grabbed snakes, peeked out of the tail <coughs> as they're in the bush, and be like, okay, cool. Okay, and pulled yeah. out. And the one I pulled out, and the next thing I see is, you know, it's reshaped its body. I'm like, whoa, what am I dealing with here? I said, I didn't think it was a water moccasin. Yeah. But, uh. Oh, these guys are beautiful. No. <laughs> so, plain bellied water no. snake's going to look a lot similar, only it's going to have a plain belly. These ones got the little half. Now, what's the, so what's the official name of this one again? This one would be a uh, Nerodia. Yeah, it's a. Northern water snake. Northern water snake. Yeah. We're in the south. <laughs> she's North pretty, she's, she's oh, pretty good. <laughs> so the reason I'm thinking is that it's pregnant is if you look at the size of its belly. It yeah. Um, see starting there. Oh, yeah it's, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. So that's kind of a long thing. I mean, could it have eaten a, I don't even know what it eat. Maybe it could have been a bullfrog. Yeah. You know, probably not a squirrel with a snake like this. I mean, it moves. Sometimes when you catch a wild snake, 
um, they'll musk, which is letting a foul odor and stuff out of there. Yeah. And then uh, they'll bite. You know, I don't call this snake uh, aggressive at all. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's it, it's defensive. Right. Yeah. You know, if I didn't pick it up, it'd leave me alone. Yeah. So it's not aggressing me. It's it's defending itself against me as a potential. You know. Right. Predator. So, uh, but often they'll regurgitate too. Right. Uh, we caught one, a plain bellied water snake about this size at a pond. Some kids said, "Hey, you know, if there's a snake down here." So I went to check it out, see if it was something venomous, and it was a plain belly water snake. But I picked it up, first thing it did is it threw up a, a bullfrog. Yeah. You know, so since it hasn't regurgitated whatever it's got, yeah. You and since it... these guys, uh, they're live bears, they don't yeah. lay eggs. Yeah. So I'm thinking she's going to have about 20 little babies, which come out like that. They might be a little uh, kind of gray and white pattern at that stage. And these yeah. guys got a couple different color morphs. Um, sometimes they'll just be almost solid dark brown. Sometimes it'll be like this. They'll have uh, different colors on the belly too. This one's kind of more of one of the red ones. Where'd you find it? Where'd you find this one at? Uh, Buffalo River. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was walking along. Some people were swimming. I love that too. <laughs> Some people swimming also. Hey, I got one! You pull out the one. And everyone gets out of the water. You know? <laughs> but, but I got him. He's out. These are fine. I'm petting it, Ben. I'm petting yep. it. Well, yeah, focus. So I can get you in the background with it. Uh, I'll have to get one of you in the background with it. Nah. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. Pretty cool. Yeah. Neat. And you see something at some point bit or broke off her tail. Yeah, I see it's that. Kind yeah. Of truncated there. And, uh, huh. Yeah. So, She'd been in a fight with somebody. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, the first thing it'll do is change its body shape like that to. Uh... Yeah, this is pretty quick. She's, she's done that before. You're not trained, buddy. Oops, musking. Oh, that was that, that what you're talking about? Yep. So it's it's letting out some odor and also some liquid to try to deter. Yeah. The eggs or the yeah. babies? I don't want to smell it. It's okay. good. I believe it. <laughs> you smelled on camera? <laughs> that's good though. Sometimes I'll be walking along kids like, Dad, I think I smell a snake. You know, I mean that's that's a good skill to have for a four year old girl. Yeah, yeah. Put it back down. Put it back down. I want to see if I can get it. So, and if you compare this actually with the pattern of a water moccasin, aka cottonmouth, yeah, you'd see it's I quite a bit different. Head. And also, so, yeah. when you approach a, a cottonmouth, the first thing that will usually happen is they'll just open their mouth. Yeah. Where this one actively strikes at you. Um, and, you know. Can you pick it up if you want to? <laughs> Yeah. It has blood on it. Oh, sure. Yeah, it did a Probably yours. Mine? Still ahead. So, support the body in a couple places. Keep control of the neck. Keep control of the head. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They seem pretty comfortable about picking up snakes. Well, the ones that I tell them is okay. Yeah, right. You know, in fact, most of the pygmy rattlers we found, the kids found. Oh my gosh. Said, Dad, come check the snake out. So they're not allowed to look for them on their own, pick them up, touch them, any of that. Right, right. Even if they know what it is. Right, yeah, exactly. He's fine. Very cool. Yep, so we'll see. Oh, I've got to hold it. So I'll take a couple pictures, shoot a little video, let it go. Yeah, very good. We'll look for it. I'm sure you'll know the page to find that on <laughs> at Papa Pepper's page. So. All right, Steven. See you next time on the homestead. <laughs>